If you want to learn how to make this loading screen system, make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out how to do it. Okay, so we'll first start from the GUI. So insert a screen GUI into the starter GUI. You can rename it into loading screen and I will insert the frame and go down to the size and input 1,0,1,0 so this will cover all of the screen and if you go to the test and then go to the device as you can see this will cover the whole screen on every device so you don't need to worry about resizing it and i will insert a gradient so we can actually customize this a bit so maybe something like this a nice blue color and then insert a text label i will again uh, input it like this and then when it's set to scale now we can resize it i'll put it in the middle make background transparency one i'll change the text color and also make it scaled and this doesn't really matter what you put in here but let's just for the example set 90 through 100 so it will at the end looks something like this until it loads uh, fully and then you can duplicate it put it a bit above and then the first one you can rename to loading text and the second one into title so here you can input your game I'll just input tutorial and then also add an image and let's just add an aspect ratio constraint so it's always the same shape. After that you can just input an image of your game or whatever you want here. I'll just use this image from a previous tutorial and the last thing we need to add is a text button which you will also resize and then just make it smaller. So maybe something like this. I will put it here and we will write skip. So this will be a skip button if a player thinks they don't need to wait for the loading screen to finish or something like that they can just click skip button and it will skip this whole screen. So that's pretty much it we have our loading screen UI now go to the replicated first which is where the things when you start the game load first and insert a local script you can rename it loading script and put the screen UI inside of that loading script and now it's time to actually write the code. So first delete this and get content provider after that we need to get twin service and now we'll clone the GUI and actually let's use a wait for child instead of the dot so like this after that we'll do repeat task.wait till game and then colon is loaded. So this reassures us that we will wait until the game is fully loaded and then we can the local assets equals game get descendants. So by doing this we get everything that's inside of the game from the workspace to the voice chat service. So everything inside of the explorer needs to be loaded before we can actually continue. And then we can do max assets and that will be equal to hashtag assets. So basically what this is is just a number. So if you put a hashtag in front of an instance we will get the number which in this case will be the number of things we have when we do get instance on the game. Then we get the player and then we parent the GUI to the player and then dot player GUI. Now we need to create a new twin info and we are doing this so we can have like a cool transition from the loading screen. After that we will get the main frame so GUI point for child frame then we also need the skip button so then we can do frame and for shell and I'm not sure if we renamed it. Okay, we haven't renamed it, so go back to the GUI and rename the text button to the skip. And also do loading text equals frame point for child loading text. So these are the main things uh, we need. And now we'll create a table. So GUI elements equals and then create a new table. So why we are doing this is so basically you can just add a whole lot of items in case of the GUI element so you can have as many of the text labels, frames, buttons and everything else you need to your GUI without needing to worry to add them later on. 
So I'm pretty sure these are all of the GUI elements that you can use in the loading screen. Of course, I am missing, I think, a scrolling frame, but I don't really see a use for that. If you do, you can just add it here. And after that, we need to create our first function, so local function, and then the tween GUI. In here, we'll do uh, another table, so local tweens equals, and then an empty table, and then do local elements to tween, and we do frame inside, and then for underline comma element, in pairs frame get descendants because we need to get everything inside of the frame no matter how low it is and then we do if table dot find gui elements comma element dot class name and we do this because element dot class name is basically all of these so if you take this uh, skip button its class name is actually text button and then we do table dot insert element to tween comma element then go down to lines and make another for loop this time we do elements to tween inside and we need to make a check if element is a gui object then element dot background transparency because element dot background transparency or zero so now you have two more of these if statements so i'm just going to quickly write them and then i will explain them Okay, so this is it, and now to explain it, we just do three if statements, so if it's a GUI object such as frame, then we get the background transparency, or also normal transparency, then we just insert a twin and then play it, and we do pretty much the same thing just for the text label and text button, we choose text transparency, and for the image label and image button, we choose image transparency, and then after that, go down two lines and do another for loop, so again, for underline comma tween impairs tweens and then we do tween dot completed and then we do colon wait and after that we do GUI destroy. So if you've noticed at the start we cloned the GUI and parented it to the player GUI so it's not inside of the replicated first anymore and then when everything is loaded and all of the tweens have been completed we can just destroy it. Now we'll make another function skip button dot mouse button one click colon connect and then we do tween GUI. So this is basically just uh, before anything even loads we can tween them and get rid of the loading screen if the players don't want to wait for the game to load. Then we do another for loop for i asset in i pairs this time. Assets do and then this is how we actually preload things so content provider preload async and then we do asset inside of here. Then do load text or actually loading text dot text equals and here you can put basically anything you want i'll do loading and then do colon then space dot dot i dot dot we do that line dot dot max assets what this will make is i'll make a comment here uh, it will look something like this loading for example i don't know 1200 through 1300 so this is how many assets are loading currently and this is how many there are in total and last thing for this we need to write is test not wait one and then just do tween gui so that's it this is the whole script and now let's see if it actually works so if i click play okay so it does work but as you can see we have a slight issue it's like our whole gui has been moved a bit down so let's fix that go to your uh, screen gui and get to this setting ignore guidance set and make sure to check that and then if we play again of course you should probably delete the first text but as you can see it has been loaded and if we try again and i click skip it skips it instantly and that's how you make a loading screen